We've done a lot of physics tonight, but um, we've got our first caller with some chemistry questions. Um, specifically, we're going to be having a look at organic chemistry now. I'm yes. going to be chatting to a lady called Lebegang. Hello, Lebegang. How are you? Hi, how are you? I'm great, thank you. And I'm you? I'm doing well. Okay, now Lebegang, you didn't have a specific question, but what you said to me is that you're battling with ketones, aldehydes, carboxylic uh -huh, acids. Because they seem so alike. They do kind of seem all alike. They've all got carbons and hydrogens and oxygens. Mm -hmm. But what we have to have a look at um, is we have to have a look at the specific functional group of each of these ones. Yes. And that, that, gives us, that gives us the clue. Mm. Okay, now I'm going to start with a carboxylic acid. All right. Yes. Okay, now I'm going to take the simplest carboxylic acid called methanoic acid. Now remember, the word meth stands Me for how many... No, meth one. One, one. one meth is one yes. and F is two. Okay. Now this is methanoic acid. Now what I, what I have, want you to have a look at, um, Lebochang, is what I call the functional group. Now the functional group is what makes methanoic acid, methanoic acid. What makes this a carboxylic acid, all right? Yes. So this is a carboxylic Select. acid. Bit. Okay, now what are we looking out for? How are we going to identify one of these suckers when we come across it? What we look out for, Lebegang, is this part. If we have a C that is double bonded to an oxygen, mm -hmm. and that same C is also bonded to an OH, then we know that it's a carboxylic acid. Okay. Okay. So that's, that's what we're looking out for. Let's just do another example. I'm now going to do... Um, I'll just draw the whole thing out nicely. Mm -hmm. I'm now going to do ethanoic acid. Now, ethanoic acid, or let's do propanoic acid. Mm. Let's live on the wild side and go for three carbons. Now, Lebegang, I understand your problem totally because they do kind of all look the same. But have a look now. There's my C double bond O, and there's my OH. So I'm thinking, what is this? Is it, a, um, is it a ketone? Is it an aldehyde? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Mm -hmm. It's and an FNL. Can you see? Mm -hmm. There I've got my C double bond O mm -hmm. and my OH. So it's definitely a carboxylic acid, right? Mm -hmm. And this particular one's name will be propanoic acid. Mm -hmm. Met et prop, prop standing for three carbons. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is propanoic acid. So that is how you identify a carboxylic acid. You look for a carbon. Um, on either side, it's always at the beginning or at the end of your chain. It's connected to an OH. And it's connected to an OH and an O, the same carbon. Mm -hmm. So if I had to write this shorthand, this would be H-C-O-O-H. So if you get a condensed formula, whenever you see that C-O-O-H, you mm -hmm. know that it's a carboxylic acid. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So now the other one that you were worrying about was an ester. Mm -hmm. Okay, now an ester, Lebegang, is a whole different story. Now, why I say that is, do you know, Lebegang, how we make an ester? Mm, of fat. Do you know how we prepare an ester? No. I'll tell you quickly. Mm -hmm. What we do to make an ester is we take an alcohol, all right, mm -hmm. and a carboxylic acid. An alcohol and, and a, a carboxylic, carboxylic acid. acid gives us an ester. Okay. Now, let's say... Your alcohol, before we look at the structures, let's say your alcohol is ethanol. Okay? Mm -hmm. And your carboxylic acid, let's use the first one we did just now, is methanoic acid. Okay, methanoic acid. Then my ester will be ethyl Me methanoate. Methanoate. Okay, so, so there's, a, there's a big difference between a um, carboxylic ester. Oh, a carboxylic acid and an ester, but we do use a carboxylic acid, um, acid to make an ester. Now, if we were to draw, um, let's say, um, ethyl methanoate, let's, let's sketch ethyl methanoate quickly, all right? Mm -hmm. We're going to have a C with our three H's in the beginning, then we're going to have another C, and then we're going to have an O. 
and a C and an H and an H and an H. So how I always identify, um, sorry, I've made it, what did I do? Oh, this one must be double bonded. Okay, so how I identify an, an ester is I look for, if I look at my carbon chain, mm -hmm. can you see that this carbon chain is interrupted? Yes, by an O. It's interrupted by an O. So yes. already I'm thinking there's definite ester possibilities here. Mm -hmm. And then I look and I see if I get a C and an O and another O, then I know that it's an ester. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now uh, are, you, are you getting to grips with how we identify yes, them a little yes. bit? Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's just quickly um, have a look also at the difference between a ketone and an aldehyde because um, to be honest, Lebuchang, I don't blame you for getting confused between those two because they are really very much the same. Mm. All right, now this is a ketone, Lebuchang. Here I have a ketone. I've got CH3, I've got C, Three. double bonded to the O, and another, C C and another CH3. Now this is a ketone. How do I know that it's a ketone? In the middle with C's on either side, I've got a C double bonded to an O, mm -hmm. okay? So I'm, I'm saying, right, that tells me that I'm dealing with a ketone, all right? Mm -hmm. Now what is the difference between a ketone and an aldehyde? Well, they've basically got the same functional group, Lebuchang, but for the aldehyde, the C double bond O is on the end of the chain. Mm -hmm. So you'll have something like this. You'll have a C, an H, an H, is like that, and then your C double bond O and an H, and that will be at the end of the chain. Okay. Do you see? Okay. So I've, I've got the same, the functional group is the same, but for the first one, for the ketone, my C is holding hands with a carbon on each side. But whereas for an aldehyde, the, the double bond O is on the end. Mm. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to do a quick test. All right. I'm going to give you... I'm going to give you two compounds and I'm going to quickly ask you to tell me whether they're ketones or aldehydes or um, carboxylic acids or esters. Okay. Let's see whether I've taught you something. Right, let's see. Um, I've got H, I've got C. Um, let's do that and that. Quickly, Lebuchang, what is this? Just give me the type of compound. Is it a carboxylic acid? Is it an ester? Is it a ketone? Is it an aldehyde? This, is what, this one is a ketone. No. Ketone is a C, double bonded to an O, with carbons on each side. This is the very first one that we had a look at. It's a carboxylic acid. acid. Okay. So a carboxylic acid, C, double bonded to an O, and an OH at the end of a chain. All right. Now, what you need to do, Lebuchang, I'm going to give you a tip. I want you to write down an example of a ketone, an aldehyde, <coughs> a carboxylic acid, excuse me, mm -hmm. as well as an ester. And I want you to take a highlighter mm -hmm. and, and highlight the, the, the functional group for me. All right. Okay. And, and that's the best way that you, that, you're gonna, that, that, that you can know them. But I'm absolutely with you. I know that they all kind of look the same. We've got C's, we've got double bond O's, but you really just need to check them out over and over again and have a look out for those properties that I've just explained to you, all right? Okay. But Lebuchang, if you don't come right, remember we are here all week. Mm -hmm. So um, Monday please, to Thursday, yes. Monday to Thursday, 6 to 7. So please do call us again. <laughs>